If you want to enhance the immune system and deliver energy to it, then you really have to focus on where are you putting your energy. If we keep looking outside and watching the TV and reading the news, our energy is always going toward self-protection of fear of what's going on in a world that's changing out there. So we keep pushing our energy on the outside. But if you start to get sick, what you really need to do is redirect to the energy on the inside. So we have to let go of the stressors that are, are causing the inhibition of the immune system. Therefore, we really have to focus on happiness and harmony in our worldview so that our internal energy can be directed toward dealing with a, an internal problem rather than being used to save our lives from an external threat. There's a lot of different things we can do. Stress lowers our immune system. And when we don't have a functioning immune system, that's when we get sick and we're more prone to diseases and illnesses, right? So it's all about doing things on an everyday basis. Like how can we improve our immunity? Being happier improves your immunity. Um, eating more sustenance, more nourishment into our bodies that allows us to thrive. We're not supposed to get sick. It's unnatural for us to get sick. And that's what people need to realize. A lot of things that we're doing nowadays is unnatural. So it's like going back to basics, eating fresh fruits and vegetables, being more balanced about your approach. For example, in Okinawa, these individuals who eat a plant-rich diet, uh, they consume lots of sweet potatoes, purple sweet potatoes, a lot of oranges, fruits and vegetables, uh, sea plants. Uh, they consume meat only about twice a month, and that would be fish only twice a month. Contrary to popular belief, they don't eat hardly any meat, virtually no dairy product. And these individuals, they're so active during their daily activities. They're incredibly healthy, virtually no dementia, virtually no heart disease the lowest rate of cancer amongst the planet. And here, they're near Fukushima, they're near radiation particles, they're exposed to toxins too, but they have a very light attitude about life, a loving attitude. Uh, their family, their peers work together, they use herbal medicine, not toxic chemical medicines. And these individuals are the longest lived culture in the world. And in fact, I had someone come to me the other day and said, oh, I'm trying to be paleo in my diet, you know, I want to be more paleo. And, I, and he was a cancer patient. I said, well, no, actually the data shows that you need to eat more plants. But all the research that you see using phytonutrients only comes from plants, right? So there's not a single drug out there, there's not a single drug that for any condition matter that's coming, say, for example, from bacon, right? But we see all these plants, and these plants are really important to understand. My best advice for anyone wishing to prevent cancer is to adopt a low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet and try to eat as much organically grown food as possible uh, to stay clear of GMOs. From, from the dietary standpoint, that is my recommendation. The best is to be close to nature. Actually, Gerson said something similar, yeah. Try to eat not very uh, manufactured food, processed food. Try to eat food in the most natural way.